Hey everyone, it's Sydney. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I talk about my experience going to prison. And today I'm going to talk about canteen and like the stuff that we could order and just how that all worked. It's something that I notice like TV shows and movies definitely have it different. I don't know if it's necessarily wrong or if just where I was um, or all the Washington State women's prisons are like different. So it probably just depends on like where you are, but I know that in a lot of like, like in Orange is the New Black, they like just walk up and buy their canteen from like a little concession stand basically. And that's not how it worked for us. So we had to like order every week over the phone. Like it was like a ordering system. And basically you push the numbers on the phones and then we had like a list of stuff we could order and you had to like write in like the four digit code for that one. So it would be like, please type in the number for whatever item. And then you would type it in. So say it was like one, two, three, four. They'd be like, okay, you have selected whatever it was, Cheetos, right? And then it would ask you to type in how many you wanted. So you either press one or like five pound. And then it would say, you have selected five bags of Cheetos. And it's like automated, obviously. Um, so that's how that worked. But sometimes it was so complicated because if you have like a huge order and then you like forget which one you did last. And sometimes the phones were not the best too. They would just like randomly like go out because we were in the middle of nowhere. And so we sometimes like our orders wouldn't go through and it was kind of frustrating. But yeah, that's basically how it worked. Um, so on canteen, it was mostly just like hygiene products and food products, mostly junk food, like cookies. Uh, you could get like instant coffee sweetener, like we called it blue sugar because <laughs> it's just like those little like equal packets or whatever um, of aspartame. And they had powdered milk. So like coffee was a must. Like it was always so exciting to get coffee. Like, I don't know. It's just nice that we could still have caffeine in there. And then you could get like more like meal type things like you could order bags of tortillas and like freeze dried uh, like beans that you could just put like hot water in and microwave and then they turn into like refried beans. They had like rice. You could even get like packaged like cheese or like meat like salami, ramen, obviously. There was actually like quite a bit of stuff, but it was mostly for the most part junk food like we could get like those peanut butter like buddy bars, whatever they're called, nutty buddies, um, but like off-brand ones. Everything is like off-brand, except for they did have like real Doritos and like real Cheetos, but it's like super expensive. And the price of things is like still the same, like normal price as if you would get it at a store, but we are only making 42 cents an hour at our jobs <laughs> and we get paid once a month, so. I never really got a big paycheck because I didn't work that many hours. And then you can also get money like put onto your books um, by someone from the outside. But anything over $10, they take 55% of. Some For some people it's more if you owe like alimony or, no, that's not the word. Maybe it is, I don't remember. I don't, I didn't have it, but like basically if like for example, if you like killed someone in a car accident and that's why you were in prison and you like owed money to those people from that, they would take an even bigger percentage of your paychecks and of the money that got put on. So a lot of people would just get $10 put on a week because they don't take anything out of that. But anything over $10, they do take 55%, which is kind of annoying because it's more ideal to just have a lot of money put on at once because it's like a huge fee through JPay to like put money on. Like anytime someone put money on my books, I think it's like a, it's either like a $5 fee or an $8 fee, I'm not sure. Aside from food on Canteen, we could also get, like I said, hygiene products. So like that's where we would get our soap, body wash. They did have like the St. Ives Apricot face scrub, which was really nice because like I use that on the outs anyway. Um, but it was like super expensive, but like one bottle lasted me the whole time I was there basically. And then you could also get like lotion, um, combs. It's all just like cheap ass plastic combs, hair gel, wax, certain vitamins and supplements. 
I got like benzoyl peroxide for my acne and yeah, there wasn't a whole lot, but it was like enough to get you through. Being in there really like taught me to live with the very minimum. <laughs> like I definitely wasn't a hoarder in there because we don't have much space to put stuff. So, and I didn't have like a lot of money on my books all the time. So it really taught me to live simply. But that being said, I am so grateful to be back with all my stuff and have like body spray and good deodorant and like lotion and stuff like that. So yeah, and then there was also, we had like monthly and quarterly packages that is separate from Canteen. And so basically we would get like a catalog and the monthly package is like a property package where you can get um, just like essential items. We could get like different shoes, hair dryer, straightener, curling iron, <laughs> makeup, hair brushes, a lamp for our room, fans, like stuff like that. And then there is a food package, which is quarterly. So there's, it comes out every three months. And again, it's like a catalog and it's like different food that you can't get on Canteen. But the food on there was really expensive. But what's nice about the packages is that you can buy them for yourself with the money on your books or you can have someone from the outside order it for you. So like that is cool. Like I got one for Christmas from my family and basically it was just like a bunch of junk food again, but they did have like packaged like sausages, like meats and stuff that other people like were really excited about. I don't eat meat. So like that's not what I was into. Plus I just feel like since I was being fed like three times a day at the actual meals, like I didn't really need to make my own food. But yeah, that's how canteen worked and everything. So you don't just go up in, to the store and get whatever you want. It was, we had to place our orders by Thursday and then we would get it the following Thursday, which is kind of whack. Cause like by the day that I get my food, I'm like, how am I already supposed to know what I'm going to want for next week? Like, I don't know how quickly I'm going to get rid of this stuff and when I'm going to eat it. But I did not order canteen every week. Like most people did. Most people got money put on their books every week, but <laughs> it's it's like a good thing that I didn't have money on my books all the time because I was like I'm such a snacker and like it was all junk food so <sighs> I have absolutely no self-control it would not be good if I was ordering cookies every single week but <laughs> yeah make sure you subscribe if you have not already if you want to see more videos about my experience in prison I know this one was short but I have some like funnier stories I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time.